All right, I'm gonna show you really quickly how to use OpenAI to cheat at trading. Do you see this? It's coding this for me. This is a trading algorithm that OpenAI's LLMs are coding for me. Now I'm using Luxy AI because it's for finance and development, but it's using OpenAI's LLMs. And you can see it literally just coded out a trading strategy for me, which is amazing. Now I've been working with it for a while here. So we've built out this strategy here and you can kind of see what the results are if I just run it. And what I want to do here in this video is I want to go ahead and make some updates so we can absolutely crush it. You can see here this uh, has a return of 34% when the buy and hold is negative 7%. You can see the best trade. Uh, let's see some good. The sharp ratio is 2.5% and so on and so on. So what I want to go ahead and do is I'm just going to use um, OpenAI's LLMs, which I'm using through Luxie AI because this is for finance and coding. But <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and make some updates to this. And um, yeah, first off, I'm going to go ahead and copy this over to a new file because it's a new day. And I'll show you everything here in this video. So 1016, let's go ahead and say uh, funding.py because this is using the funding rates. And what's cool is we could even say, hey, let's, uh, let's go ahead and delete this, delete these notes up here and put in some new notes here. We could even say, hey, explain this code to me line by line. Explain this code to me line by line like I don't know how to code. So I can do things like that. And this is why it's like, it's literally a cheat code to trading because most traders are just sitting here staring at these charts while I'm sitting here. And now you can just sit here and look at this code and have the code trade for you. And we don't even really need to know how to code anymore because if you don't understand any of it, we can just ask AI how to do it. You can see this is plain English explaining this. And in a matter of fact, code is actually English too. So if you've ever learned anything, you can learn how to code. Anyways, what I wanna build today is uh, kind of an update here for this and Let's go ahead and get some ideas. The first thing I want to do is close this trade when after 10 bars. So how would we do that? Well, again, I have the cheat code here. So I'll just say update this back test so it closes after 10 bars or the original, the original close, uh, sell. So this is quite amazing because we don't have to do anything anymore. We just sit here and we wait for the code to work. You can see there's a lot of people using this, so sometimes it does slow down. And sometimes we just wanna give it a nice little refresh. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But essentially, it takes it in through OpenAI's LLMs, and then it just outputs it. So I just did a little refresh over here in a new tab. You can see it's already working out. So uh, this is going to update the code in order to do exactly what we wanted. So let's go ahead and see how it did. To update the back test to close after 10 bars or the original cell, you can add a counter variable in the funding rate strategy class and modify the next method as follows. Okay, so it shows right here, we added this counter here. So I can just go ahead and just like Lego blocks, 
go ahead and paste that in so hard to do oh my goodness i am stressed out <laughs> it's so so hard what else do we need to do and then it says and modify the next statement so inside here let's look for the differences we could just copy the whole thing over i'm just curious to see what it changed oh here we go so if self is they just put this little lego block right here so i would just copy this over and if you totally don't know how to code you can just copy it over and see if it works let's go ahead and put that in there and let's see how the results change remember the original results og results were 36 percent roi versus the negative seven i think percent of the hold so this should be interesting let's go ahead and see if it works and if not we'll go ahead and just ask Luxy how to fix it because Luxy does it all for me See, it's taking a little bit of time here. What's the hold up, B? Looks like it's working. It's just running through the data, maybe. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over here. Crazy day of volatility. That's for sure. Hmm. I wonder why that's not running. Let's go ahead and run it again. That's a weird. See if this new code changed it. I don't think it should affect how it runs. Okay, so that works. Same, okay, 34 versus negative seven. I wonder what's going on here. Maybe we need to self.sell. No, we can't self.sell. It must be the, the sell. So let's go ahead and say, hey, Luxie, the code doesn't run when I, the code doesn't run. The code doesn't run when I, add in the self dot position dot close it seems to get stuck please use self dot sell instead of close but make sure to only go into that statement if we are in position i apologize for the confusion to close the position self.sell after 10 bars you can modify the next statement so i told it what to do there and you can see she just codes it for me so a lot of people were like afraid of coding because it's hard but we got ai now dog There we go. Okay, so self, this says we get a little error here. Short requires take profit. Should actually be this. This should actually be that. And that should work now. We'll see though. It's interesting. Seems to get stuck just like it did before. So self dot. Let's go ahead and say since 
this is a closed position, don't put the SL and TP there. So maybe, let's see if that even works, if I can just remove it here. Let's just say so. I'm just gonna do that. Maybe that'll sell all of it. There we go. So we got the results here. And you can see it went from eight trades to 11 trades. The best trade is this. The worst trade is that. And the return percentage is 5.1%. So by exiting, by exiting at after 10 bars, opposed to exiting after when the signal goes off, it changes the strategy from 36% ROI down to 7%. So I'm gonna write that down. Selling after 10 bars equals 5.1% ROI. Does it change anything over here? The drawdown's 13%. The sharp is still a one. Sorrentino's still 2.9, so those are good. I wanna test this as a variable, though. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get that out of here. I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in. Well, not paste it, but I'm gonna start modifying some things here. And we're gonna go ahead and say, using this code, using this code, update the optimizer to test selling after X bars between five and 30. Now let's say, yeah, 35, 30, 30, just so we don't, doesn't take too long. So we're setting up the optimizer now. And you can see the limit here. Limit equals, that's not quite right, I would say. We want to put this as a, what should we call this variable? Sell after bars. That sounds good to me. And let's say 10. Update this so the optimizer tests sell after bars between 5 and 30. How about that? How about those apples? So you can see the sell after bars are there. Interesting. So the cool thing about AI is it thinks differently than I would think. The way I would personally do this is this. Wait, sell after bars? How come that's not showing up there? Oh, it's because I have to do self dot. Okay, sell after bars. And this needs to be self dot as well. So I would go down here and say, okay, let's mark this out. And let's do sell after bars, sell, sell after bars equals range between five or five and 30. And then I put a comma here and let's see if this works. Let's see if Moon can just do it without AI right now. Funding rate strategy is missing sell after bars strategy class 
let's go ahead and now let's use AI. I get this error for this code. Please fix. Please fix. Please send full code. There we go. See, sell after bars. Oh my goodness, I put this in the wrong place. That's why. This is why Moondev does not code himself. He just lets AI do it for him because he is a human, you know? So sell after bars would be right here. So that's where it is, which is good. So let's just double check that it's also down here. Sell after bars, range 5 and 30, perfect. And then up here, we would say sell after bars equals whatever, five. And then this would be self to sell after bars. This should work now, yeah? We'll see, B. There it goes. So now it's optimizing between five and 30. So it's pretty much running a back test for each one five sell after five bars sell after six bars sell after seven bars sell after eight bars sell after nine bars all the way up to 30 bars which is pretty great because most traders again are just staring at this chart oh should i enter now should i enter now should i enter now should i exit now should i exit should i enter should i exit no nah, i should no nah, let's go now you know what i'm saying so um while all the traders are out there staring at these bars trying to guess which way it goes <clears throat> you get in right here long and you get wrecked you get in right here short and you get wrecked so i like to use past data and then ai to code it up full code up back tests for me and i use the rbi system let me explain that to you because i want to make sure that you have the most success possible RBI system and you'll hear me talking about that a lot research find strategies that you want to work with essentially find strategies and then back test those strategies back test and that's what we're doing here use AI to back test because it's going to be faster then implement I've shown so many videos here on my channel how to implement into live algos. Now, obviously, use a small size or use a paper account if you want. Whatever you want to do, however you want to test it, test it in the future because the past doesn't always show what the, the future is going to do. But if you're trading a system that doesn't work in the past, you're like, what are you doing? <laughs> Okay, so we can see this is optimized here, and the profit factor is 0.96. You can see 29 was the best one. The ROI here is 5.1%. So I'm going to go ahead and write that out of the optimizations. Optimized for bars equals, uh, how many bars did it say here? It said 29 bars. 29 bars equals... 5.1% again, which I find interesting because that shows that it, trading this system based off of bars is not the play. But is that truth or did I just test the wrong bars? Because these are 30, 15 minute bars. So what if I tested like, uh, what is 15 minutes? 15 minutes times, what did it say up there? I think it said like, uh, 29 yep that's 435 minutes divided by 60 that's about seven hours okay so holding for seven hours doesn't do it but what about if we test between like 30 and 60 
or let's do a little shorter so we can do these in steps here and keep testing these because this is pretty much optimizing and yes it can get overfit so you got to worry about that you don't want to optimize too much but you do want to optimize enough in order to find a strategy that works for you right but that's why it's so important to implement a tiny size or a paper account so whichever one you prefer to do that's fine but for me i like tiny size because it, it actually tests on live algorithm on live um, markets right you know sometimes paper accounts have different fill rates and all that good stuff so it's just my preference you know i'll trade with like 50 bucks or something and 50 dollars to me is is small but i understand it might be a lot for you so if that's a lot just find an amount that's small and, and you're not gonna care about if you lose because remember we we're only getting to this step of the implementation if this the above works right so we already know this strategy does well 36 percent roi versus negative seven but now we're just testing different ideas and that's what i do every single day is i test different ideas because if i can get this up to 100 percent, that's better than 36 percent right let's see how this one did about the same you can see 49 and 31 about the same best trade worst trade returns 5.1 percent okay well so you know this is an idea that i had to improve this strategy and it's not improving it thus far let's go ahead and open it way up this might take a little bit longer but it's great because why not you know I'm going to go ahead also be like, hey, this strategy, this strategy returns 36%. And it's actually this one. Give me 10 ideas of how we can improve this strategy so it gets to 100%. So let's see what it has, it has to say. So here are 10 ideas. So, and this is great because these aren't my ideas. These are AI's ideas. So let's go ahead and put it up here. 10, 10 AI ideas to improve this strategy. So let's go ahead and read them. Here are 10 ideas to improve the strategy and aim for 100% return. Adjust the funding rate thresholds. Experiment with different values for these thresholds. Okay. I've already done that a lot. Optimize, take profit. I've also done that. So, okay. These are good ideas because I've already done them. Implement a trailing stop loss. Hmm, that's a good one. I like that. Use multiple time frames. I like this one as well. So you can see this is crazy and I'm I'm really sharing what I'm doing. I'm not just making videos. I promise you, I'm not here to just make videos. I do this full time. And I just try to whip up the camera here and there, the screen share videos with the mic here for you. So you can see, because I learned everything on the internet and nobody shares quant information or algorithmic trading or automated trade, whatever you want to call it. Nobody shares that. So I share it. Thank you for watching. Incorporate trend indicators. Okay, that's a good idea. So MA, MACD, 
RSI. Explore additional data sources. Okay, maybe volume and sentiment. See, this is so magical. Because I can't think of, you can't like, you can't organize your brain in order to think of this stuff. It's just impossible. You can, but it's gonna be, you think of one during lunch, you think of something else during dinner, you think of something else in the shower, but AI knows everything. So it's so amazing. I just get so jazzed. Volume and sentiment. Fine tune position sizing. My guy, these are ideas. Evaluate different commission structures. I've already got pretty good commissions, but improve trade execution. Evaluate additional markets and assets. Yeah, that's actually a good idea too. So we have ideas. Let me know which one you wanna see next. This is amazing. I get so excited when I back test and I use AI. So profit factor 0.97, it didn't change. I'm gonna give it one more try. And this time I'm gonna use 100 between 100 and 200. That might be a little long. So let's say 150. Or let's get out of here and do like 200 between 200 and 250 just to to see. So let's go ahead and say between between 50 and 100 didn't change things. But now we'll try what did we try 200 and 250 between 200 and 250 We'll see. Got it. So let's go ahead and use AI some more. How would I, which one should we do? Um, how would I update the code to use the RSI? Uh, show me how to update the code 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 in order to use the rs rsi and only yeah let's just see what it says because i want to see how it wants to do it so it's using the 70 30 which is pretty typical like buy under 30 and sell under over 70 so you can see here it now we have a back test using the rsi as well in this updated code we imported ta lib to calculate the rsi indicator the rsi parameters period low threshold and high threshold are defined as class variables in funding rate strategy we then initialize the rsi indicator in the init method using ta lib rsi in the should buy and should sell methods, we add an additional condition to check if the RSI is below the RSI threshold low for a buy signal and above the RSI threshold high for a sell signal. In the next method, we call the should buy and should sell. So essentially it just put in this right here, this RSI thing. And now, oh, it made a function to see if it should buy or should sell. And then if it should buy, it should buy. If it should sell, it should sell. So I look forward to testing this one. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this code. And um, yeah, let's copy it and say 1016 funding RSI because you know, we're starting from a solid base here. And uh, I wanna test this next. So I'll test this next. This, this takes the OG funding and then tests 
with an RSI 30 and 70. So it's probably only selling when it's over the 70 and buying when it's under the 30, which is quite interesting. And I only could have come up with that idea with AI. I mean, I could have thought of it as well, but what I'm saying is like, hey, this is my four hours to code right now. And do I have that idea thought of right now? I sure might have it on my notes, but you can't think of everything, right? So let's go ahead and say, do the same thing here. I'm gonna copy this. Copy this code just to make sure the memory is all there, you know? Um, let's say, update this code so it uses the what were some good ideas that it gave us 7 10 16 the macd maybe the macd and then it should give us this information that we need So you can see it gets the MACD up here. By the way, this is done and it did not improve. So it shows that our original idea was the best, which is cool because I had this thought of like, hey, what if we just exited on bars too? That makes sure that it exits, you know, more often, but it really didn't. I mean, this had eight trades over a month and now it has 11. So it's not like a huge amount. But that's cool. Let's go ahead and test these two new back one back tests real quick. So I've got the Mac D. No change. OG is the best. Okay. Let's go ahead and say 1016. 1016 funding uh, Mac D dot PY. Paste that in there. Let's see if we can just run it. Or if there's gonna be a bug. Dang, it works right off the bat. AI is amazing. Profit 1.44, win rate 71%, return 4.3%. So not quite as good as the other one, but hey, that's a different, maybe they can hedge each other a little bit. I don't know. Mac D plus funding, perfect. Let's go ahead and try that uh, other one we did, the RSI. So you see how quick that was? Like this is a whole new idea. And there was, it's just like, boom, like that AI wrote it for me. I didn't even have to think. I don't even have to think anymore. It's amazing. Look at this profit factor though, bro. 4.1, 16%. Tino. so this is a good one as well. Not as good as the OG though, so. I'm happy to be able to share this stuff with you. If you have any questions, find me in Discord. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you wanna see more videos like this, just let me know below, and I hope you have a, a just a beautiful day. Um, thanks for kicking it with me, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.